Hello everybody, it's I Joe Lord here and today we are going to be doing episode the thirteenth episode of Paper Jam. Now the reason why I'm doing this battle is actually cause um I think Raphael needs a little bit more time, so I'm doing this. But as you saw in the in the paper jam free for all um, we have nine characters, so whoever wins this will be added into the tenth mark, and then whoever wins in Knuckles vs. Donkey Kong will make it into th to the eleventh mark, and then that video will happen in the next one. Well, anyway, let's begin. Oh yeah, keep in mind, this was actually made by the Blue Sorcerer 101, so go check him out. Well, anyway, let's begin. Let's start off with Goku. Goku is a Super Saiyan, as y'all know. But, well, let's begin from his backstory first. He was a baby whenever his father, Gohan, has found him. And from then, he actually had a tail, which then he turned into, well, I'm not going to ruin that for you. But anyway, the thing about Goku is... He's powerful, he has blasts, and yeah. But, if I forget anything, I'm sorry. Sorry that this is in the middle as well. But anyway, Goku has, has learned supreme techniques from all he's learned. What he's learned is how he can use the Kamehameha instant transmission, which can allow him to teleport. He's also extremely fast, but the way he, the food gets in his way until he eats it. But anyway, Goku has some more forms, like the Super Saiyan form, Super Saiyan 1. Then can transform him to Super Saiyan 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9, then 10. I could keep explaining, but his most powerful forms are Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan God. <sighs> Let me rewind that. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Like, come on, don't we have enough forms already? Like, what's next? Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God. Like, come on. <sighs> Overall, Goku is powerful. Has supreme strength. A supreme blast and his, and his key oh wait a minute boop uh, his key is the main source by the way and this key is is near limitless but sometimes things could get in his way superman was born on krypton and well it's kind of weird He's allergic to kryptonite, and he is a Kryptonian, which seems weird. I know, but anyway, his sim his powers er, have came from him whenever he was born. But anyway, let's, I don't like to talk about that crab, so let's move on with his powers. He has supreme defense, supreme durability, and and as I said before, he has powers. He has the ability to fly. He has ability with super super speed. He has eye beams. But sometimes power cannot be enough. One time he's lost he's lost to Batman a couple of times. He's lost to Doomsday. And well, yeah, I can I can explain a lot of times where he has lost, and yet still he's been able to get back up on his feet. But the way his powers work, well, it's unexplainable. But he has supreme speed. He has his eye beams. He has he has his ways. But he can be manipulated. Overall, Superman is powerful, devastating, and threatening. 
with his powers, he can be near unstoppable, but he has been beat before. Saitama is, well, he's a hero for fun. And like all heroes, they have to have power. But, of course, we have to start with his backstory. After doing 100 push-ups, 100 jump squats, and 100 other stuff, I can't remember. But anyway, as being remembered as the hero of fun, over time he's lost his hair. Which seems to be one part of his power, but yet it is unknown how he has his power. It's impossible to have 100 push-ups and jump squats and whatever the other stuff is. But still, he has supreme power. His punches are near deadly. Well, some are. One is his normal punch where he where he has, well, a normal punch. But yet, his regular normal punch, where he fires out a fury of normal punches, is near deadly. It was able to kill Boros, Lord Boros, which couldn't even find a person able to find his power. And yet, he comes to Cinema, a superhuman, he's still human, and somehow, he was able to beat Boros. But, yet, his defense and durability is overpowered. He's able to survive survive the vacuum of space. Sort of. He holds his nose whenever it looks like he doesn't need it, but he does. He's been punched to the moon and sur still survived. And even when he... And when he got back to Earth, he still, he was, well, still unhurt. He's fought Lord Boros and, and other monsters and defeated them in one punch, besides Boros. His regular punch, a.k.a. the punch he always uses, is actually kind of weird. Because he can one-punch things. But let's talk about his most important punch. The Serious Punch. His Serious Punch is powerful, amazing, and it can kill anybody. And anything. Overall, Saitama is a very powerful hero for fun. And although he has met, met challenges before... The most challenging was Lord Boros, and he still defeated him. Well, anyway, this battle was made by <gasps> the Blue Sorcerer, so if you've never heard of him, go check him out right now. Well, anyway, let's move on with the fight.
Now, some of y'all might be wondering, why would Sedema win? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I mean, Sedema has been launched to the moon and was able to survive the vacuum of space. And there's also one thing I forgot. He moved in a black hole, which even light can't move. Still, his speed is phenomenal. Everything he has is phenomenal. And his punches were more than more than able to defeat Superman and Goku. But you might be wondering, hey, if you look back at the video, Superman was near the sun, so wouldn't he win? Well, no. The reason why he wouldn't is because even with Superman's power, he still he still can get defeated even if he's near the sun. And the platform was slowly moving away from the sun. Well, anyway, it looks like the other two were no match for the hero for fun. Let's see the next battle. This battle will happen, I guarantee it. This battle was brought to you by the Blue Sorcerer. So go check him out. His channel is awesome. His content is awesome. And, yeah. Just plain awesome. Well, anyway, guys, bye.